Hi, Ropers. I have a lot of people who have asked me how I finish off my rope bowls. And I have about six of them here right now that I have to finish. It's a set of kitty cats uh, for my March show I'm going to be doing. Um, so I think I'll just, um, I work intuitively. I have no real plan. Um, so I'll do the best I can to show this on camera. And you'll have to bear with me here. Um, and we'll see what happens. So let's do one. I think we'll do this one. Move these guys out of the way. So this cute little kitty cat here. And this is what the bowl kind of looks like. So I ended, I have no plan. I, whatever the length is, I try to work with it because I hate wasting rope <laughs> and I'm not a fan of piecing rope. So, uh, I try to use, use what I'm working with. So, um, I, I ended the stitching here, made a knot, wrapped some, the rest of the rope. Sometimes I don't wrap it and sometimes I do, uh, and I made another knot and I think I'm just going to make a series of knots because this is kind of like up here towards the back on the side so let me try and keep it in the camera here so that's two should get about four so no, no big deal just make knots I, I like to keep things as simple as possible, not too complicated. And my customers like these kind of things on their, on their bowls. So I'm always, I just kind of just do them. So there, I made four knots and what I'll do is probably place them on the top of the rim here, like so. Let's see how it's going to work for me. Yeah, not bad. Need a little to straighten them out. I, I usually use my glue to glue everything down. Sometimes I'll stitch if I can. Uh, just depends so and then I use some um, if I use glue I just use either close pins to hold it like so so to, to the glue dries I also use pins to pin the uh, the rope to keep it and keep it still why the glue why the glue dries so we'll do something like that then I still have this little end here which I just may twist around, just play with it a little bit. I may just have it come down the side like so. Uh, you just fiddle around till you, you come up with something that you like. And that would be that would be straighten. I'll just have to straighten it all up when I, when I'm when I'm uh, off the camera and I can see better what I'm doing. And uh, and that would be kind of like something like that. When these bowls are finished, I'll do a video or pictures, I should say, not a video so much. So so that's kind of cute for that one. And let's see. Here's one I had started. This one I had used uh, the the sar the sari silk uh, ribbon on it. I kind of like that that look for this particular print. And so I had I've made three knots here. Now I could get a little bead, put it in there, and probably make three more knots. 
You see, I just kind of like look at them and kind of just play and I just kind of make knots and pile rope on top of rope. And see, I let the rope do the work, actually. I guess that's the best way to describe it. So I'm a mixed media artist, so I uh, tend to go with the flow. But you can just play around with it and just use your glue and glue it on. So I hope that helps everyone. I don't want to make the video too long if I sit here and play with all these bowls. But, uh, yeah, see? See, I start thinking about it and, uh, and uh, play around a little bit. So, have fun, guys. It's all it is, it's just for fun. See you on my next video. Bye.